welcome back to Weekly Chew. On today's show, we're going to show you how to make barbecue roasted prime rib boneless roast. Let's get started. We're going to heat up one side of our barbecue, just like we did for the chicken in our last episode. When doing this recipe, you want to make sure that your roast is at room temperature all the way through. So leave it out for a couple of hours. We're going to start off by peeling and cutting three onions. These onions will be part of our bed that the roast will sit on while cooking. This will add more flavor as well as keep the roast from sticking to the pot. Once the onions are in the pot, we're going to trim, peel, and slice two carrots. Although when slicing, you only need to cut once or twice for each carrot. Then place into the pot. To our bed of veggies, we're going to add some pepper. And some salt. Now we're ready to add the roast to the pot. Now we're going to prepare our roast, starting with giving it a nice coat of vegetable oil. Next, we'll add some pepper, then some salt, some Montreal steak spice, And finally, we'll add about one cup of beef broth to the pot. Now we can add the pot to the barbecue, which has been heating nicely. We'll place it on indirect heat, close the barbecue, and cook for two hours, checking up on it every 45 minutes, just in case. At some point before the two hours are up, we'll peel one five pound bag of yellow potatoes to cook and mash. Oh, yeah, 
We'll slice them into smaller pieces and rinse them off. After another 45 minutes, we'll check on our roast again to make sure things are going smoothly. And from the way things look here, I think it's going awesomely. So the roast has only a half hour left to cook, so we'll take our rinsed potatoes Fill the pot with water. Place them on the burner and begin boiling them. But first, we'll add some salt to the water. It's been two hours, so we can now remove the roast from the barbecue and bring it inside. We'll carefully remove the roast from the pot and set aside to rest fully covered for at least another half hour. Now we can get to work on our gravy, starting by sifting the juices from the veggies. After we remove the veggies and the other bits from the juice, we can then get to work on separating the fat from the juice itself. We do this by using a spoon to skim across the top of the surface, removing the fat like so. By the end, you'll end up with nothing but beef juice. Next, we'll add the rest of our beef broth to the juice. Then we'll turn our burner to a medium-high heat and in another pot, spoon in the fat. To start the gravy, we need to make the roux. To do this, we'll add a couple of tablespoons of flour to our fat and mix together. You'll want to cook the roux until the flour taste is completely gone. You may have to add more fat and flour along the way, but as long as it is nice and creamy, that's all you need. Once the roux is ready, we can slowly add our beef broth slash juice combo to the roux, all the while constantly stirring.
Once all the broth is added, we will season with some pepper. and some salt. You'll want to stir and cook the gravy until it begins to boil. At a glance we can see that the potatoes are almost done. Once the gravy starts boiling, we'll turn on our other burner to a simmer and place our gravy there until we're ready for it. After about a half hour, we'll remove the top from our roast and let it rest just a little bit more. In the meantime, we'll add some butter to our pot and let it heat up so we can add some veggies to our meal. This week we're only using frozen veggies, but if you want fresh, go for it. We're going to mix it around, making sure it all gets an even amount of butter. Next, we'll add some salt. Now we can drain our potatoes. We'll add some milk, a big serving of butter, and now we mash. We'll give our veggies another stir. Lower the heat and cover for a few minutes. Now we can plate and serve. We're going to start by cutting a few pieces of the roast, which is, by the way, a nice medium rare. So we'll add the pieces to the plate. Along with some mashed potatoes. Some veggies. And to top it off, some silky creamy gravy. And there you have it. Barbecue roasted prime rib boneless roast right here on Weekly Chew. For complete recipes, log on to www.mokerbeck.com slash weeklychew or 
visit the Weekly Chew page on Facebook.